Hello there, Pepper Hernandez from drpepperhernandez.com, coming to you to share some information on terpenes straight from the Cannabis Holistic Institute here in Northern California, the Emerald Triangle. Today we're gonna to talk about the terpene geraniol. Geraniol is, if you think of the smell of the flower geranium, uh, geranium is high in geraniol. This is the name of the terpene because of that particular reason, right? Or vice versa, the flower was named because of this particular terpene. So when we get into terpenes, it really is the aroma and the smell. You know, it's more about the cannabinoid that does the physical body um, alignment. But if you think about aromatherapy and how that actually does a vibrational alignment within the physical vessel, it makes a lot of sense why it would be very important, not just for the smell or for the taste of your cannabis, but obviously for the body alignment. And, and that's why I'm giving you this information because it's not just, ooh, that smells really great. It's also, if it smells really great for you, it's actually doing something on a much larger scale, which is this energetic vibrational frequency that geraniol may have for you, okay? So just like a really great wine, we need to look at our cannabis in this particular way. We need to dial it in, we need to boutique strain it, we need to recognize, one, first off, it has to be organic, because chemicals are just, that's not the right place. Cam cannabis and chemicals, not the right place, okay? So we need really, really awesome. Hopefully, um, sun-grown would be amazing. Some parts of the country, you can't get your specific strains, so you have to do a little indoor work. That's understandable. Um, but sun-grown, organic, sustainable farm. Uh, if you could dry farm it, I mean, like, there are so many ways to do it, but let's make this the right way. So geraniol, the smell is gonna be very much like a lemon, or a tobacco, which is really a nice smell, grass, uh, rose grass, peaches, or plums. So it really is like going in and finding the right wine that you like that works for you, right? So that's, we're gonna find geraniol in certain strains of cannabis. Now, geraniol is also a neuroprotectant. It's really, really important when you're working with the nervous system or anything having to do with the brain. We have 72,000 nerve endings in our body, so why not find something that's going to fit with you, not just because of the smell, but also because maybe it has a particular endocannabinoid count, or excuse me, cannabinoid count, that fingerprint that we keep talking about, that cannabis fingerprint we keep talking about. It has that has the smell that we like, and it also has, it's the particular strain that's either going to lift us a little bit up or it's going to relax us, right? And so a neuroprotectant along with, say, um, a, a mostly indica dominant, you know, blueprint or fingerprint is going to be the way to go, I think, for something if someone was working with their nervous system. So antioxidant, it's also an antioxidant, which is really great to know. Now, geraniol is an antioxidant. So let's look for that in our cannabis. The way that we're gonna find that particular strains are going to be like um, a great white shark. What's listed on here is, or not listed on here is an OG shark. That's also gonna be high in geraniol, sweet skunk, master kush, Afghani headband also is high in geraniol. Know that a bunch of these on this list are quite heavy um, on the THC side. So if you're not wanting to get something so heavy THC, you need to do some research and find something that's non-psychoactive, that's more, it's higher, a little bit higher on the CBD end. So this is a little information on geraniol. I hope that this has been helpful. Pepper Hernandez from drpepperhernandez.com. These are quick little short videos. We have hours and hours and hours of information um, over on the actual platform that we're using for the Cannabis Holistic Institute. If you're at all interested, go over, check it out, be involved, get educated, spread that education, because that's what we all need for the deepest amount of healing. So have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day, and I'll talk to you in the next video.